So this may see a little bit fishy. This is my PC, but this is running Mac OS. And this is not a Hackintosh. How is it possible? With one Linux command. So, in this video, we're gonna reveal the command how I installed Mac OS in my PC. And also, before that, I need to give a shout out for one of my subscribers, Zcar. He's been asking shout out for a long time. So, here you go. And also, what you need to do this is only a Linux machine with Wi Fi connection. And then you'll be good to go. You will be having Macintosh, Mac OS as, uh, as an application. You can just open whenever you want. And uh, this is kind of cool and this is so fast, like a real Mac, as you can see. So, in this video, we're going to see how to do that. So, let's get started. So, in order to install macOS in your Linux machine, you'll be needing Snap Store installed on your Linux machine. Well, some distros comes with the built-in Snap Store and some distros does not have Snap Store in it. It is based on your distribution. You can just install Snap Store from your terminal window. In my case, I'm using Ubuntu 21.04, so it has Snap Store built in with it. So let's open terminal and install SoSumi. So let me explain something about SoSumi. Well, if you just go on search on the YouTube, you will be seeing. So you if you just go and surf on YouTube, like how to install macOS in Linux machine, you will be seeing uh, tons of tutorials, and one of them is by installing a KVM installation. So KVM is nothing but Kimu installation of a virtual machine so the social media is nothing but it just compiles all of those process uh, into one application which means if you run the social media you will be running all of those commands compiled in one software so without talking let's install social media so for installing social media open your terminal window and just type sudo snap install social media and after that Let's snap install the source menu. After it gets installed, go and search for source menu in your application launcher. You'll be seeing source menu, which looks like command key in Mac OS. Just open source menu. It will run some post setup in terminal window. And after some time, after the setup completes, it will open a virtual machine. You just need to wait and after it gets into the Clover Boot Loader. Now you can see Clover Boot Loader is loaded. So you can use your mouse here. Select Install Mac OS by using arrow keys. Just boot into Install Mac OS. And this will boot Mac OS Recovery Utility. And once you get there, you need to go to your disk utility. And once you go to your disk utility, you will be seeing a hard disk which has about a 68 gigs of free space in it. And it is uninitialized. So you need to just select your hard disk and then click erase. And then I'll set the format system into APFS and let it be guided partition map and let's rename our hard disk called as Mac click erase and now this will automatically mount your hard disk to your virtual machine so after doing that you can just close your disk utility and click reinstall Mac OS and once you click that you need to agree all the terms and conditions you need to do and then you'll be getting a list of hard disk installed on your virtual machine so in my case, I have only one virtual hard disk, which we created, uh, which we mounted now. Click the hard disk and click continue. And if you just do that, your Mac OS will be automatically installed on your virtual machine. And after it gets restarted, all you need to do is just select boot 
Mac OS install from Mac. So as you can see, our hard disk has been renamed as Mac. Just boot from it. Now after you get boot, you will see that it is just loading and you, you will see that it's just taking some time to run the post installation. And after it gets downloaded, this will automatically restart again. But this time, all you need to do is just choose boot Mac OS from Mac. Just click that and you will be getting your post installation setup. And now you need to set up your Macintosh. So as you can see, we are in the Mac OS desktop. Now you may see some lags while moving the cursor and it is so slow, right? So we need to fix that. So for fixing that, all you need to do is just close your virtual machine. And fortunately, snaps will automatically create a directory in your home folder. Click that. And once you in get into the folder, you'll be getting a folder called as common just click that and inside that you will see a script called as launch so now we need to edit the script but before that we'll just create a backup in case we mess up things and after creating your backup all you need to do is just get inside your launch script and here you will notice that there is something called as dash m 2g so this is nothing but your computer's RAM and we need to increase the RAM and also remember your virtual machines RAM should be in half of your original host systems RAM so I have my computer having about a 16 gigs of RAM so I'll just give a 6 gigs and that is enough to run a Mac and after doing that all we need to do is just start our Mac virtual machine and here you will see that we will be seeing that the Mac virtual machine is working faster and much much better and after that you will be seeing that the resolution issue because Mac has a default resolution but you need to adjust that to your computer's original resolution so for doing that you need to just open a terminal and then after opening your terminal window in Mac, all you need to do is just type disk util list. And you'll be seeing a lot of partitions, about a four to eight of the four to six partitions here. And from here you need to select which has an EFI and a Linux file system. And now we need to just type in the terminal sudo disk util mount disk one because in my case this is disk 1 and the partition is also 1 so I'll just select 1 we are going to mount the EFI partition here and then hit enter so once you do that your file system is mounted and here you will see EFI just go into the disk inside that you'll be seeing something called as config.plist right click on that click open with we're gonna open that with a text editor Mac has a default text editor with it so we'll open the config.plist file with the text editor and once you go there you need to find something called as screen resolution and by default it is like 1280 into 720 so that's the default resolution will be set up so after that you need to edit your respected resolution of your monitor so in my case my monitor is 1080p monitor so I'll just put 1980 into 1080 and then 
you need to just save and close it and now we need to restart our virtual machine and once you get the terminal window like this hit escape and you'll be getting into a shell and type exit and you'll be getting into a setup like a BIOS setup from there you need to just use your arrow keys and select device manager and inside that you'll be seeing a display resolution which is centered click that and you'll be seeing a lot of display resolutions here select your resolution sometimes if you just edit the plist file it will automatically change but sometimes it won't change so you need to just verify that you are in a correct correct resolution and then type exit 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 and then after that just boot your mac os from your hard disk and voila we have mac os virtual machine well actually you will be seeing that it ha does not have much cpu power we can we can customize our cpu power with cores and threads but it's a bit complicated and beginners may mess up their computer so we'll just stop from here and by default our mac has a core 2 duo processor and which is a kind of slow but that is enough and here you can see that our mac is working so much faster so that's how you install mac os in your linux machine with one linux command but you may s you may notice that we have installed mac os catalina but the newest edition of mac os is mac os 11 big sur so how do we install that it is so simple you just need to click upgrade to upgrade to mac os big sur so i will upgrade it later and if you like this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to cyber cypher i'll see you in my next video bye